passion is said to have originated from the sound of music. Thus, when a descendant of Khan fiddle players was crowned and ruled over his people, peace lasted for many years. Sun rose as it rises in the eastern sky. The tales will be told in the starry night sky. People who respect the melody worship their con fiddlers and lived happily ever after. But one fateful day, black sun rose in the east and blood splattered under the night moon. Bloodthirsty King's Minister Eagle rebelled against the lineage and took the throne from the rightful heir. Once Eagle took the control of the throne, he ordered his army to kill every fiddler in the kingdom and not to spare anyone's life. Please have a drink before the great hunt. Here you go. Bring the king's bow. May your arrows hit. Their every target. May your blessing come true.
<laughs> the hunt suits you, my king. I praise your skills. <laughs> that is strange. Forgive me, my king. Your skills were too great. And it has taken two lives. How strange. How is there a pregnant gazelle at this time of year? It is indeed very strange, my king. My king? Is it a sign I should have an heir? You're at your prime, and the queen is still young. The queen... A woman who can't bear a child, even if she is still young, should be compared to a dried-up riverbed. Yeah! Fiddler, tell me if a beauty that suits me has been born in this world yet. Princess Igarel of Minister Kantai has turned 16 this year. People say she is the fairest of all the kingdom. Minister Kantai, who worked for the musical kingdom. Find him for me. Forgive me, my king. How could I find those who have vanished into the desert? His fair princess, if she loves me from her heart, my sins from before will be cleared. But the queen, my king... Quiet! You can count yourself dead if you can't bring me Princess Igarel. Yes, my king. Please allow me to present this pure white bow for your last test. Oh, wow, what a beautiful bow this is. Oh, mommy, can you believe how beautiful it is? Please, test the accuracy. Place another target. My dear. The bow is a weapon with its own spirit eye. Your job is to own that spirit eye as your own. 
You need to practice with moving targets to earn that spirit eye. If you don't, you will never be the greatest archer. Tomorrow, start with moving targets. We've been without music for 20 long years. How long will we be sitting in silence like this? That is true. seen the kingdom fall with our own eyes. Remember how King Eagler took the throne. My king, I have carried out your decree accordingly. Does the princess know what happened to her family? Forgive me, my king. Young people are easily distracted. She is calm and unaware. When should I bring the princess in? Probably not for a few days. Tell Queen Ezergene to look after the princess. Understood, my king. into the palace. Thanks to you. It looks like I'm not needed here anymore. <sighs> the king decreed 
to bring young girls. Minister Yumla. Yes, ma'am. Have you grown closer to the king since you brought the young girl? Of course not, my queen. It is still up to you to grant me favor or punish me. However, because of my loyalty to you, may I deliver some news to you? Please forgive me. Minister Kantai's tribe was enjoying a play without music, and then I massacred them all. Although the princess is young, if she were to find out about this, she wouldn't be nice to King Eagler. Please consider this. Go join her. As you wish, my king. Girl, it's a nice opportunity to get to know each other. Challenge me. Ever since I came to this silent castle, I have only been able to practice my archery. I need to know where I am. Why am I here? Sure. Velvet Black. Mom, what happened to you? What? <laughs> oh my! Oh my 
داریم مامی فریز میکنی My king, as to your decree, I shut this singing and wailing woman up right away. Please forgive me. King. We are ready for the execution, my king. My first and last act of mercy. Be wise, princess. Hmm. Be grateful for the king's mercy, my princess.
fearful of your wrath. Even prey falls dead at the sight of you. But today, I just witnessed a weakling attack the great king. Remember how you used to be like her? I remember. I still am the same. Then go and teach her how she should treat her master. Teachings take time. I do not wish to wait. I know how the spirit of your children abandoned you. That is why I do not wish to force her to love me. <laughs> Pity. <laughs> Getting older and softer, are you? Shut your mouth, you barren woman. I want my heir. Do you not know to show respect with sincere greetings to the queen? Taking me away from home? Murdering my dear mother? Is there any sincerity in this place? Of course there is. I would like to leave here then. Stop acting like a spoiled child. I want to leave! I am here to teach you the way of palace life. Kneel. I know of how wise your father was. What did you just say? What have you done with my father? Punishing the guilty is the law. Because your father rebelled against the kingdom. He was sentenced to death. And you need to know, princesses are born only to please the king. I can't tolerate your behavior anymore. Forget about leaving this place. Let's see how long you can keep up with your attitude. Please, my queen. Tears won't bring you back, dear father. Oh, the eternal sky that greets me with your sunshine. My heart is broken as if shattered by a massive hammer. My soul is torn, as if pierced by a thousand arrows. I was born of your flesh, welcomed into this world with open arms. But I've lost you, my beloved. I lost myself to a cruel king to warm his bed. <laughs> Please come back to your daughter as a fierce arrow 
My mother. Please return to your daughter as a sharp edge of a sword. My father. As long as I draw a breath, as long as I draw a breath. If I can't avenge you, if I can't avenge you, my shattered heart will never be whole again. And my wounded soul will never be healed. I shall be your arrow, I shall be your blade. I shall become music to reach you. I shall become a legend. Mr. Yumla. It was easy to find Minister Kantai's tribe with your intelligence. I am sure you are aware how difficult it was to find their hideout. So tell me if the king was pleased with his young princess? Yes, he was. But the young princess is bad-tempered. Also, the Queen Ezergene is unpredictable if she is cornered. Just in case, from this moment on, if anyone, anyone tries to rebel against the king, bring them to me alive. Got it. We work for you with our deepest loyalty, but you are still the same. Just do what I tell you. A better life is coming to us all pretty soon. When the timing is right. I see. My king, we are still killing the roots of music. Do not let the princess see blood. child of your own. I beg of you, please let me go. I'll ride back to my birthplace. I can only look after your horse. You can come here any time you today. wish. Tomorrow could be the day after. Please, only you can help me leave this place. This is the kingdom of Eagler Khan, who wiped out the music. There is only one rule in this kingdom. No one is to violate the king's rules. And no one must leave this kingdom. If anyone disobeys, she must die. Let me remind you again. Only the king and the queen hold the ultimate power in this kingdom. Did you say the queen? Yes. Please forgive me, my queen. From this day on, I will obey your commands. I thought you were as hard as your bow and straight as your arrows. What changed your mind? Even the hardest bow can be bent. I just thought, since I'm living here, I should follow the rules. Then you should listen. Remember that those who are destined to be a queen to a king 
are both fortunate and unlucky. Be as cold as ice and as fickle as the clouds. You now have to wed Iglercon, but there shouldn't be any wedding. Only then Iglercon will bend to you. Please, my queen, even though my parents are murdered, I still have people to go to. First, I... you must listen to me carefully. Igler Khan believes you were sent down from the sky to give him his heir. Why is that? I was younger than you when Igler Khan took me to his bed. And I lost my fate to be a mother. Ever since, Igler Khan's been searching for someone to bear him an heir. Are you planning to use me to get your revenge against the king? No, you are so naive. I have been with Igler Khan for 20 long years, but never have I seen him this nice. People lose their most precious things when they act nice. As long as Igler Khan is still alive, no one in the kingdom is safe, not even you. Be careful not to fall in love with the king. I am not as nice as I seem. Khan is still alive. No one in the kingdom is safe, not even you. He is the brutal person who destroyed the bloodlines of the Khan Fiddlers. Please don't ask about him again. I 
will do my best. You can start practicing with the moving targets tomorrow. The moans of suffering heard within these walls. And the smell of tears and blood is suffocating me. Even though the golden sun rose and the silver moon shone down upon me, my heart is suffering. And my soul is tearing apart. I cannot take it anymore. I cannot take it anymore. disobeys the gods' wishes. You must be my queen. I would rather die than give you your heir. Put aside my kingship. I am on my knees begging you, begging you. Wish of me anything other than death. Please, th then let me go. I beg of you. Aren't you going to let me leave? If you can't grant me my wish, I must show you how great of a warrior I am. Everything happened exactly as we planned, brother. Igler Khan is left alone without his new queen. <laughs> Princess Igorel really ruined Igler Khan's wedding. Yes, and Igla Khan was furious. <laughs> Please, tell me what I should do next, my brother. It's fortunate for us that Igla Khan is fond of Princess Igorel. We should rush, but we need to be careful. We should meet again. Your teachings didn't affect her. You turned her into a vengeful witch. Please, my king. You should cure her broken heart. And remind her of her parents and homeland. If you nurture her well, she will turn around and might even care for you. You should amend her broken heart with the sound of music. What did you say? You dare to play with my life? To have an heir, you must risk your life. To have an heir, you must risk your life.
I have made this for you. The bow is a weapon with its own spirit. Looks like the king let you hear the music. Yes, my queen. How wonderful this music is. This cold palace felt like a warm place with the sound of the fiddle. Also, Igler Khan, whom I thought was a heartless warlord, no longer seemed so cruel. All of a sudden, I felt fond of him. I'm a fool to believe you could help me. Why is that, my queen? I did everything you asked. I left him without a wedding. I brought out his hidden music into the open, and, and I see you are on his side. Music can even let you forget your hatred and revenge. Then please tell me, what should I do? wanted to kill Igler Khan, but you couldn't. Because this king is a devil who was cursed to become an immortal that no arrow or sword can kill. You're the only one who's gotten that close to taking Eagle Khan's life. Forgive me, my queen. I was captivated by the music. I'll remind you of only one thing. Go and beg Eagle Khan to show you his music again. I'll figure out how to keep him away from his fiddler. 
pathetic woman. I'm glad to see you're in a good mood. It's nice to see you this way. <laughs> I would like to thank you for showing me how it's done. Then you must bed your new queen to have your heir soon. Truly nice. I had made mistakes in my past. That fear stayed deep in my soul, and I took it out on you. You used to say so without holding back, because you used to tell me that I hated you. But from this moment on, I will try to be nicer to you. The music has touched the princess's heart, but you need to prepare a gift to touch her heart yourself. Let her know that you are her master, a man that owns her forever. Only then will your fear vanish and you will prosper in a young girl's warm welcome. Where does this music come from? You really don't know? Under your decree, I am one of the thousands of children who grew up without even a lullaby, my king.
playing fiddler. I'll be able to get away from this place. If only I shed my own blood. The wind blows freely and the river runs around and about. The tree leaves shudder in harmony and the stars shimmer in a cold, dark night. In a hot day, the golden sun's rays touch the ground with the sound of a jingle. To feel all these with your heart, you must stay alive. No, no, no. I feel drawn to Eagler Khan ever since I heard your music. But he is my foe who murdered my family, the king who banned music from the entire kingdom. I cannot stay with him anymore. I am the same. I cannot kill myself. But. I still believe, if there's a way to get in, there must be a way out of this place. I have suffered for 20 years to see Igler Khan's death, but now, it is time to see the end of my suffering. Please, my queen, don't. If the king will die if the fiddler is dead. Didn't you want this? Yes, I did. I, I still do. But if we kill the fiddler, the music would be lost forever. If that happens, wouldn't we be just the same as Igler Khan? You couldn't kill the Fiddler, and you couldn't even see him be killed. Please, forgive me, my queen. here for 20 years. I knew every corner of this palace, except where he hid the fiddler. I even prepared a tunnel in the need of escape. I guess you can make use of it now. Follow where the sun sets. A person named Buri will be waiting for you where the desert and mountain meets. He's a chief from my tribe who's been fighting to keep music alive. Much gratitude, my queen. What about you? I thought that killing Igler Khan would bring back peace. But you've stopped me from killing the true heir of the Khan fiddlers. Just ride without hesitation. Brother Buri will take good care of you. Spread the music through your fiddle. My queen, I respect your selfless kindness. Horses are ready for you. Leave now. My messenger will reach Brother Buri before you get there. Go, leave.
What are you doing here? I wanted to see your precious gift for the princess. And I wanted to see how nice you're going to treat me. I always knew. Dagger to take my life. But that dagger has killed you instead. remaining descendant of the Khan Fiddlers. I am the son who is left to face the suffering. Praise the burning fire to the sky and use the smoke to send as a messenger, cleansing the shadows of hardship and detaching all the poisonous things. Spread the sound of happiness and joy all around the world, O oh God of music. I didn't know how amazing of an archer you are. Well, thanks to my father. He taught me that the bow is a weapon with a spirit eye. But my archery is nothing compared to your fiddle playing. My father taught me that the fiddle is an instrument that is alive. Maybe because it is alive. All the melody from it touches my heart. And it makes me feel connected to my parents. It is possible to feel the spirit eye of the bow and connect to it. Is it also possible to connect to the life of your fiddle? No. The life of a fiddle is born with the fiddler. What's that? Marion's run! Hurry! Let's go!
just my parents. Kill them! Follow them! Get them all! Minister Yumla! We have forgotten how to mourn our dead, and we don't know how to cherish and love our living. This is the world that Eagler Khan created. He wished to wipe out the whole kingdom of the Khan fiddlers, and wanted to rule the kingdom forever. He attacked everyone who cherished music, and he killed all who fought to save it. After losing his trusted warriors, my father escaped the battle with a few people. Our tribe also fled to the mountains. and lived under the starry sky. That dreadful night, we were ambushed by pursuing soldiers. The ruthless King Eagler wanted to take my sister as his queen. My father was able to hide my sister, but Eagler took her life by mistake. Eagler's plan to wed into the throne was ruined. Furious, Eagler then decided to wipe out the whole kingdom of the Khan Fiddlers. At that exact moment, my unconscious father got up, and to save me from Eagler Khan, he started playing his fiddle to summon the gods of music and curse Eagler to transfer his life to mine. My heir should not perish. Then, Eagler locked us both in his dungeon to keep himself safe. That is how I 
the sole surviving descendant of the Khan Fiddler. I'm still alive. My father had the power to see his kingdom in his visions when he played his fiddle. His power might have been transferred to me through his fiddle. When the time is right, Princess Igaril, the fairest of all the kingdom, will liberate me from Eagler Khan's grasp. This is how our fates have crossed each other. You should rest now. I used to dream about seeing the trees sprout, flowers bloom, rainbows under the sun, and foal running free through a pond. Sweet dreams. What a wonderful fiddle you've made! It is believed that the horse's blessings dwell in its tail, and the beauty of melody is in the tuning. Remember your velvet black with this fiddle.
Bring them to me. You love. Take good care of my precious life. There's no need to hurry, my king. I do not wish to stay here any longer since we have found what we are searching for. I too have found what I was searching for. Since I have found it, I am eager to return to my palace in my throne. But I think I would like to stay in the country to rest my back a little. This is your precious life, isn't it? My back will rest well if I fed worms with your rotten body. But I shall hack your fiddler into pieces and throw them to vultures. Die now! Announce to all that King Yumla has come. No need to grieve, my princess. I dragged you all the way here in the sake of not leaving your seat empty. Please. I didn't know you were a dirty worm crawling its way to the throne. If not me, someone would have murdered Eagler Khan anyway. Because of my cleverness, I saved you from Eagler Khan before anyone else did. You should show me your gratitude. I'm appalled I fell into another enemy's lap once I was freed from the other. Don't be. Queen Ezergeen wanted to kill Eagler Khan all this time. To fulfill her wishes, I provoked you to do it. You fell for my plan and brought the king's precious life out into the open. And now he's dead, since your fate took this turn of events. Please, join me in your seat as queen. I will make you happy. I am allowing you to go be on your own, since I promised to make you happy. But patience has its limits. Until then, go on with wandering in the sands and staring at the horizon. 
Everyone gets their karma. Don't be so full of yourself. You know what happened to Eagler Khan when he destroyed the I music. am not Eagler Khan, and you are not the one to teach me. As soon as your bastard is born, I will throw it to the beasts. And then you will be mine forever. Give us, my king. Where am I? You are in a tribe who saved the music. Who are you? At that time when Minister Yumla served you with his life, to my misfortune, your error took away my eye. It is not only us who tried to save the music. There are many others out there. Only a true king can unite all of these scattered people. Minister Yumla announced that he was going to restore the music. But he slaughtered everyone who believed him, and so they fled to seek refuge with their fiddle. You are the person who destroyed the music and its beauty. But now you can bring it back. Believing this, I couldn't bear to walk away when you were dying. All of them. Hurry. How come a dead person is alive and playing fiddle in my palace? Maybe you didn't kill off his heir? What? 
Was I then taking care of my worst enemy's precious life right next to me? It looks that way, sire. Igor Khan's precious life is growing inside Princess Igor's womb. He came to save his precious life, and he will only wish to kill his enemy. <laughs> What will you do, sire? You miserable fool! How dare you pity me! Forgive me, sire! I will kill Princess Eagerhelm! <laughs> I will kill her just like this. Only then, Eagler Khan will die, and I will be ruler of the world. I will send my great army.
up and defend. Save the music. We will defend the front. Khan Fiddler's heir is growing in Princess Igarel's womb. Protect her. How about you, Mackie? Hit them hard! Those who make the sound of music will be punished with death. Closely. Doom 
Kumla! Eagler, hold him there! I know exactly where my arrows land. And now... I know exactly where I should shoot. Yumla! you shed and the sufferings you brought took me closer to the throne ruling on people's suffering is not a true kingdom why haven't you realized this sooner you didn't realize you were pushing your people to the darkness when you destroyed their music now I can rule those Simple-minded people, however I please. And it's all thanks to you. I have come out on top without having to stain my hands with blood. I am now a king. King! Please, forgive me, my Igara. You have come to illuminate the darkness. But I have killed your beauty. I have destroyed 
your music. Don't die. Please, don't die. If only your tears ran down as pearls, I would love to string them all night long. If only your broken heart poured down like precious gems, it would come down as the sound of music. The life of a fiddle is born with the fiddler. I am a dream that was sent to you by the Almighty. Please let me get out of this dream. <laughs> but please keep this dream alive. And... Promise me the bloodline of the con fiddlers will be forever. Fiddle is born with the fiddler. Spirits of music have returned to us. Then, the sound of music has echoed through the kingdom. The people of Mongolia treasured their horse-head fiddles from generation to generation. The wind blows freely and mountains rumble in a low hum. The rivers run around and about and the tree leaves shudder in harmony and also the stars shimmer in a cold, dark night. In a hot day, the gold and sun rays touch the ground with the sound of jingle. To feel all these with your heart, people must stay alive. Compassion is said to have originated 
from the sound of music.